Good morning. I trust that you are well taken care of. We thank God for this wonderful day. Welcome to our morning devotion. The tool of our devotion today is Every Day with Jesus, with Pastor Joshua, the Oasis of Hope. The subject today, faith and knowledge. Faith and knowledge. Romans 10 and verse 17 in the King James. So then, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. At the moment of salvation, every born again person received a measure of faith according to the scriptures. However, functioning according to the revelation knowledge that God has made available to you, has made available through his word, sorry, is what puts you at a vantage point in life. For example, David wasn't merely demonstrating faith when he confronted and defeated Goliath. He had revelation knowledge of God's covenant with Israel. It wasn't that he had mere faith that everyone else in Israel Sorry, I'll take that again. It wasn't that he, he had more faith than everyone else in Israel. What distinguished him was what he knew. Revelation knowledge. When he asked about Goliath in 1 Samuel 17, 26, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? He was speaking from his knowledge of the circumcision. Understanding this, when you know the word, you don't need to try to squeeze out faith. The knowledge gives you faith. What David did was a demonstration of his knowledge. He knew the significance and power of his circumcision, the word of God, already gave the children of Israel the clear information that they would not fall before the uncircumcised. For David, that wasn't something he needed to try to believe, but something he had come to know. The knowledge was in his spirit. You become effective in life as a Christian when you function according to the revelation knowledge. Have a burning desire for revelation knowledge of God's word. Look, we can ask the same question today. What is this disease that it should even dictate the manner in which church and godly affairs should be conducted? The Bible says, Jesus speaking. In the world you will have many troubles, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. The word overcome there means I have deprived the world of power to harm you. Every born again Christian, be bold enough. Stand strong. There's nothing that can harm you. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. We are more than conquerors. Greater is he that is in us. Than he that is in the world. Let's take the confession. Hallelujah. What a powerful revelation. Dear Father. Say after me dear Father. Thank you for your word. Which I willingly open my heart to receive today. I affirm. That as I study the scriptures. And listen to your word. My spirit is flooded with light and faith in me arises to surmount every adversary, adversity and live triumphantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Just pray in the name of Jesus. Ramashata Karabazantalabasante. By your word, faith arises in us. 
by your word, faith arises in us. And we are able to surmount every adversity in the mighty name of Jesus. You are an overcomer. Greater is he that lives in you than he that is in the world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Enjoy your lovely day. Amen.